How to change transducers on a Humidifirst Mispack Series 5 and 15 humidifier. The first thing you will want to do is disconnect power at the control panel or UM by putting it in the off position. The second thing you'll want to do is disconnect the sandwall harnesses top and bottom by unscrewing it counterclockwise and removing it. The next thing you will want to do is disconnect the water supply with the provided quick disconnect harness. Now remove the screws that hold the top of the humidifier to the bottom of the humidifier. On a MISPAC 5, there will be three set screws located on each side, and on a MISPAC 15, there will be a total of six. After removing the top of the humidifier, discard water inside of the water pan and flip the unit over. You will notice inside of the black feet, there are set screws. There's gonna be a total of four. You're gonna back these screws out in order to gain access to the underside of the humidifier. Once you have gained access to the humidifier, you will locate the actual transducer and circuit board. Once you have gained access to the underside of the humidifier, you will first need to remove the daisy chain that connects the 48 volts to the actual circuit board. After you have disconnected the harness, locate the screws on the circuit board and transducer. You will need to back out the screws and then you can remove the old circuit board. Remember, you will need to replace these as a set. The transducer and circuit board are paired together. Then be sure to replace the transducer in the exact same way that you remove them. Once you have put all of the screws back, be sure to tighten them securely to make sure that there are no water leaks. Once you have done that, locate the leads coming off of the transducer. Blue will go to out two, and the yellow wire will go to out one. Make sure to put them in that order. Then be sure to secure the leads from the daisy chain back in the exact way in which you remove them. In this case, blue, which will go to number two, and the green will go to number one. At Humidifirst, we recommend you water test the unit before securing it back and turning it on. This will guarantee that there will be no leaks in the future. Now you will want to secure the bottom pan to the water pan. Be sure not to pinch any wires in this process. You will then take the four black feet that we removed in the beginning of this video and place them back into the same position in which we took them out. You will then tighten each one to make sure the bottom pan is secured to the water pan. Now, before you turn on power to the humidifier, you'll want to make sure that you put enough water to cover the transducers. This will make sure that in the event that your float is stuck in the up position, your transducers will not fire and fail. Now be sure to plug in your water line and then proceed to plug in your sand wall connection. 
The four pin Sanwa connector goes on the top of the humidifier and the five pin connection goes on the bottom. 